Royal Rumble winner Cody Rhodes is in the ring. But before he can even speak about his huge win the night before... No one saw this coming, especially Cody. And Punk says, so, what do you want to talk about, Cody? Do I have everyone's attention now? Actually, you know what? We're not doing that. I know I have everyone's attention, but attention isn't what I'm back for. I could say something about someone in a press conference if I wanted to draw attention to myself. No, what I want is to main event WrestleMania like I'm owed and like I will, even if I have to take it from you. The Tribal Chief is here now, and he walks directly to the ring and directly into the face of both men. It's a moment for the ages. Three of the top stars in the industry in the ring at the same time. Roman's message is simple. He says, you two are out here squabbling over a WrestleMania main event, and yet neither of you have even mentioned or acknowledged your Tribal Chief. You're looking at the longest reigning champion in this company's history. A man that could main event any WrestleMania, any night, any time. And the situation gets even more intense when we see Triple H walk out. He has a massive announcement. He says, obviously we have a situation here. And Roman, honestly, what you just said kind of made my job easy. You said any WrestleMania, any night, right? Well, how about both nights in Hollywood because you'll be defending the Universal Championship on night one and the WWE Championship on night two. Triple H drops a bombshell or more appropriately a pipe bomb. Immediately as he says this though Paul Heyman sprints out. He's livid. He's yelling at Triple H to reverse the decision but he won't wilt. But then, in the ring, we see chaos erupt because Roman Reigns gets dropped by a GTS. Cody tries to attack Punk, but it doesn't work. He gets a GTS as well. Punk then storms up the ramp where Triple H and Paul Heyman stand. Two men he has mega history with. He stares a hole through Heyman. And then he turns to Triple H and he says, I will do whatever I have to do to main event WrestleMania whether you or they want me to. Stack them up, Hunter, and I'll knock them down. And Triple H isn't done with the pipe bombs. He drops another one. He says that in just three weeks' time, at Elimination Chamber, the men's chamber match will determine who faces Roman Reigns on night one of WrestleMania. And there's gonna be qualifying matches to determine who will enter the demonic structure. But for which title? Well, that's going to be up to Cody. As the Royal Rumble winner, he's up next to let everybody know which championship he wants to fight for in the main event of night two. And Cody is already in the ring. And he says, you know, ever since making the choice to come back to WWE, I wanted one thing. I wanted the title that my father chased. The one he couldn't bring home. The one that I wanted to bring home and lay in his hands. And since I can't realize that dream, now I have a new dream. I want to bring it home and I want to place it in my own daughter's hands. Roman, I want the lineage. I want the history. I want the WWE Championship. Unbelievable! Punk interrupts the most meaningful of moments for Cody. And he looks at Cody from ringside and says, are you done? You made your choice. And now that leaves me to fight Roman on night one for the Universal Championship, a championship I've never won. Hell, I held the other one for 434 days. You remember that? But it ain't even about the belt. It's about getting what I deserve, my main event. So Cody, get out of my ring. And I want Hunter to come out here and make it official. No more bull qualifying matches. I don't need 
to qualify for anything. My qualifications are in the archives. Go on the WWE Network or Peacock or whatever the hell it's called now. There is a very tense moment between Cody and Punk, but Cody resists. He takes the high road. He walks away and he gives Punk the ring. And now, Punk is pacing around waiting for Triple H. And he gets it. Triple H comes out and says, you know, some things never change here, hey Punk. Listen, you aren't gonna do what you did last time. Things have changed around here. You'll be going through the process just like everybody else. In fact, I'm gonna give you the chance to qualify for the Elimination Chamber right now. It's Matt Riddle. He's up right now to face Punk to qualify for the Elimination Chamber. And the bell rings and it's a war. Riddle, the younger of the two, pushes Punk all the way. They beat the living hell out of each other. And Riddle is obviously looking for the bro to sleep. It's an obvious adaptation of the go to sleep, which Punk is looking for as well. They go back and forth until Punk is able to reverse the bro to sleep and hit his GTS. And Punk, just like that, has made a huge statement. And he picks up the win and officially enters the Elimination Chamber match. But during the celebration, he gets blindsided by Sami Zayn. He's here on behalf of the Bloodline. Zayn, though, can't stay on top of Punk. Punk eventually evades and nails Sami Zayn with a GTS as well. Punk is on fire. He walks off up the ramp in victory, thinking his night is over, but it isn't. The tribal chief stands over Punk and says, there's a lot of people here who owe you a receipt, so I'd tread lightly. You'd want to hope you don't even make it through the chamber. Welcome to the island of relevancy. And with that, Reigns has sent his message back to Punk but who will enter the Elimination Chamber for the right to face the Tribal Chief on night one for the Universal Championship? Kevin Owens takes on Elias and he's able to knock him out of the running with a pop-up powerbomb. And Johnny Gargano is next to qualify after a hard-fought win over The Miz. He's able to hit one final beat on the A-lister for the one, two, three. And on SmackDown, we see Karrion Cross pick up a huge win over the legendary Rey Mysterio. He locks in the cross jacket and Mysterio goes to sleep. And a man who Cross is very familiar with, Drew McIntyre, also qualifies in a super tough match against LA Knight who runs him real close. But the Scotsman is too strong, landing a Claymore to claim the second last spot. The last spot, however, is an emotional one. Kofi Mania, of course, was born from Ali going down injured, and Ali wants that spot back. And Ali is able to pull out the super emotional win. He gets his chance, he gets his moment, and he's ready to enter the Elimination Chamber. And with the competitors set, CM Punk is out to address every single person and he goes off. He says, there's five other people going into the elimination chamber with me and not one of them are worthy of the spot that I'm owed. So first off, we've got Kevin Owens, a man that should have been, but never was. It's been the same since the Indies. He's always been the guy who makes the guy look good. And then you've got Karrion Cross, a man who is so boring that the best part of his act is his wife. Hell, you've got Drew McIntyre, who's just, well, boring. And then you've got Johnny Wrestling, Johnny Gargano, yeah, yeah, yeah. His best work has been in comedy on the developmental brand, hanging out with cast off losers who he can look better next to. And then you've got Mustafa Ali, the Cinderella story. Probably the most overlooked, talented person in the company. But there's a reason you're overlooked. You look just like everyone else. You act just like everyone else. And just like everyone else, I'm gonna kill 
the fairy tale. The other members of the match have heard enough. They all come out and it is carnage. Owens hits a stunner on Cross. McIntyre hits Owens with a Claymore right after. And then McIntyre gets nailed with a one final beat. And then Ali comes from nowhere. He knocks down Gargano. He goes to the top and he nails it 054. But as he comes up, he gets picked up by CM Punk and he gets nailed with a GTS. And Punk stands tall until he gets dropped by a spear. Roman Reigns was watching. He wanted to send another message, but this time to everyone. He leaves Punk laying. There's a path of destruction that is leading to Elimination Chamber, but there's one piece of the puzzle that hasn't been seen yet. It's Cody, and he sends his message, and he drops Reigns with a crossroads. He doesn't want to be forgotten in all of this either. But now, it's time to enter the chamber. The battle for the main event of night one is on, and Mustafa Ali and Johnny Gargano started off, and they tear the house down early, and they really set the tone. The next man in is the giant Scotsman, Drew McIntyre. He takes it right to both men. He's so dominant, he completely takes over the match, slamming both men into the unforgiving steel. The next man in is Kevin Owens. He has a stunner for Gargano, a stunner for Ali, and the stunner for McIntyre. But he can't get any eliminations. And then the next man up is Punk. He knows he needs to impose himself, and he comes right in for one of the men who has been in the match the longest. He goes right after Johnny Wrestling. He's strategic, and it works. He smashes Gargano's head off the cage, and then rocks him with a GTS for the first elimination. Gargano is gone, but the final entrant is Karrion Cross, and he dismantles everybody who is left. He's fresh, he's dangerous, and all the combatants are now in the match, and the eliminations start to fly. Cross chokes out Owens, but he doesn't tap, nor is he pinned, but he is eliminated because he goes to sleep. Kevin Owens has been eliminated. But as Cross lets go of the submission, he gets blasted by a Claymore, and Drew McIntyre has the last laugh. He gets the big elimination. And it's now down to three. Ali, the Cinderella story of redemption. And Drew McIntyre wants the WrestleMania moment in front of a full stadium that he feels he deserves. And CM Punk, the quest to finally, after all the things he's done in his career, main event WrestleMania. The three go to battle, all exhausted, nothing left. Drew McIntyre looks for a Claymore on Ali. He gets out of the way, and the Claymore nails Punk instead. But before McIntyre can get the pin, Ali drops him. He knows this might be his only chance. He goes to the top. Oh, five, four, for the one, two, three on McIntyre. McIntyre has been eliminated. And he quickly scurries over to Punk to cover him. Punk hasn't moved since the Claymore. Ali's gonna do it. Punk kicks out. Ali can't believe it, but he knows he has to keep on the pressure. He rushes to the top. If he hits this 054, it's over. But Punk gets the knees up. Ali is rocked. He stumbles to his feet. Punk seizes the opportunity. Punk gets the pin. It's heartbreak for Ali. CM Punk wins the Elimination Chamber. He's going to WrestleMania. But he isn't done. He says, I've earned my WrestleMania main event. But we all know night one isn't the real main event. I want to go on last. I deserve to go on last. And if I'm willing to go through this, I'm willing to go through anything. I'm going on last at WrestleMania one way or another. So Hunter, Cody, Roman, prepare for war because I'm just getting started. Do I have everybody's attention now?